Welcome to the week two audio lecture where we will discuss why individual differences in diversity are so important. The study of individual differences attempts to identify where behavioral tendencies are similar and where they are different to more accurately predict how and why people behave as they do. Self-concept is the view individuals have of themselves as physical, social, and spiritual or moral beings. It is a way of recognizing oneself as a distinct human being. Both self-awareness, being aware of our own behaviors, preferences, styles, biases, and personalities, and awareness of others, being aware of the same things in others, are important capabilities if we are to best understand individual differences in diversity. The nature-nurture controversy addresses whether we are the same way because of heredity or because of the environments in which we have been raised to live. So what then is personality? Personality is a useful framework consisting of social traits, personal conception traits, emotional adjustment traits, and personality dynamics, where each category represents one or more personality dimensions. Personality and stress are both certainly related. Personal stressors can be derived from personality type, needs, and values, and they can influence how stressful different situations become for different people. Work stressors arise from such things as excessive task demands, interpersonal problems, unclear roles, ethical dilemmas, and career disappointments. Non-work stress can spill over to affect people at work Non-work stressors may be traced to family situations, economic difficulties, and personal problems. Stress can be managed by prevention, such as making adjustments in work and non-work factors. It can also be dealt with in coping mechanisms and personal wellness, certainly taking steps to maintain a healthy body and mind capable of better withstanding stressful situations.